Happening now, more national recognition for a burger in Munising. Well, the restaurant was just ranked on TripAdvisor's new list for best quick bites in the U.S. I'm looking at that. <laughs> U.S. Or, uh, TV6's Tristan Kendrick tells us how this restaurant uses UP products, how the business is looking this winter. After just a few more easy steps, this patty will be dressed in toppings and a bun and served to a customer. A burger in Munising has become a staple in the community in just under six years, says general manager Shaylin Damron. She says her restaurant was also ranked on TripAdvisor's 2023 list of best quick bites in the U.S. Us getting the spot of the 22nd out of 25, we moved up because we were 24 last year. Damron says even though business this year in Munising is slower, it is still a great sign to be nationally ranked. She also says she's noticed that the menu's A burger, like this, and the smoke UP burger have become fan favorites. The A burger is just your basic lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, holy wall sauce. Our smoked up burger has bacon, cheddar cheese on it, and all the other following, plus a, a couple extra sauces. Deployed capital in Munising helps operate the restaurant. Director of Food and Beverage Jason Biega says A Burger has made changes. He says a lot of the products used are made right here in the UP. We recently switched over to Volworth's uh, fresh ground beef uh, about almost a year ago now. And um, they're able to provide us a very fresh quality product that's um, shipped over from the western part of the UP. Um, we also uh, use Van Lanschutz and Sons fish, um, white fish in the summer. And we also use Circle K Ranch from uh, Rudd Yard um, in the UP as well. Bieka says some of Aberger's beer selections are also made locally. Employees say so far winter tourism has been slow since